Even right now in TBC, there's three levels of flying, even though one of them you don't even pay for. You've got your 60% speed and you've got your 280% speed. And then there's two ways currently to be able to obtain 310% speed. The amount of ways you can unlock that in Wrath of the Lich King expands quite drastically. As you're probably already aware, the only two ways currently in TBC is to either get Gladiator, so you get the Gladiator mount, we'll talk about that in a second, or be extremely lucky and get Ashes of Allies drop and you happen to win it. Both of which are either requiring a great deal of skill or a great deal of luck or actually a great deal of gold if you're buying it in a GDKP run. Which if you just wanted to try and buy Ashes of Alar in a GDKP run I'd recommend this video up here which is all about the new Golder system by Rested XP. I'll put a link in the description as well but make sure you check that out at the end of the video. I'm sure I don't really need to show you what Ashes of Alar is. It drops from KT in Tempest Key. I would imagine you've seen plenty of these flying around on your server by now. Although they still are pretty rare. Then you've got the Swift Never Drake from Arena Season 1. You've got the Merciless Never Drake from Arena Season 2. The Vengeful Never Drake from Arena Season 3, which is worth mentioning you can't obtain any of those now. But you still could get the Brutal Never Drake, which is from Season 4. So if you start spamming loads of arenas now and getting really, really good, you still have got a chance outside of Tempest Keep to be able to get 310% flying before you go into Wrath. So at the beginning of Phase 1, you'll have access to Nax, Obsidian Sanctum and Malagos. All of of these have got achievements attached to them and then there's one big meta achievement called Glory of the Raider which is Glory of the Raider 10 and Glory of the Raider 25. If you complete all the achievements to unlock the big meta achievement for Glory of the Raider 10 man you can get yourself a Reigns of the Plagued Proto Drake which this is 310% speed and probably one of the easiest to get outside of one that's just very time consuming which we'll get to in a minute. What you need to remember here is there are a few hard achievements attached to this like Nax Undying where you have to kill all the bosses with no deaths in the group. Sarfarian Free Drakes which for an average group is actually quite difficult and even the Dedicated Few which requires if we're looking at the 10 man achievement you need to do it with less than 9 people so you need to 8 man Nax. Whilst we know Nax is not going to be overly difficult and we are going to stomp through it you can always rely on that one guy fouling the Undying and the problem here is, if it's exactly as it was back in the day, you only have Phase 1 to be able to get these mounts. The achievements with the title, such as the Undying or the Immortal, you can get all the way up to the Cataclysm pre-patch. But the mounts were actually removed at the start of Alduar. Before I get onto that too much, let me just tell you about the 25-man version. So the same applies for the 25-man Glory of the Raider achievement, where you need to do the Dedicated Few, you need to do Sar Free Drakes, you need to do the Immortal, all of which can prove a little bit tricky. But for this, you'll be able to get the Reigns of the Black Proto Drake, which again is a 310% speed mount. So with the release of Alduar and these two particular mounts to be able to obtain are removed, like I say, you can still get the titles, but the mounts themselves are removed. The reason this could maybe change is because actually Alduar brings two new mounts. So if you was to complete all the achievements for Alduar 25, you'll be able to get the Ironbound Proto Drake again, which is a 310% speed mount. And if you was to complete all the achievements for Glory of the Alduar Raider 10, you'll be able to get the Rusted Proto Drake again, 310% speed. Now, of course, you're all sat there thinking there's another mount that you're not thinking about from Alduar. I am thinking about it. We'll talk about that first. Of course, you can get Mimiron's Head, which is from doing Yog Sar with no keepers assisting you, which basically means the hardest of hard modes of Yog Saren. But this is also a 310% speed mount. Now, the reason I said about the Nax mounts potentially changing is because they never remove the mounts from Alduar. So when Trial of the Crusader comes out, when ICC comes out, you can still go back and get those 310 speed flying mounts from Alduar. They were never removed. In fact, all they done, which if you remember in the Cataclysm pre patch, they added a new level of skill, which was 310% riding. And all of these mounts that come from the achievements like the Rusted Proto Drake, for example, became 280% by default. If you already had the 310% version of it, then of course all your other mounts would just upgrade to 310% speed. You'd automatically get the, the riding skill. But actually, they left all of the mounts in the game uh, still available to this day, I believe, to be able to go back and farm the achievements to be able to get, but they were only 280%. So could we see the Nax mount actually stay all the way through Wrath of the Lich King? Because it was the only phase where they actually removed the mounts completely. I should have actually mentioned, there is another 310% speed mount from TBC. Peep's Whistle. The unfortunate thing is it's a legendary flying mount and you need to be a GM to actually use the mount. So Blizzard, if you want to promote me to a GM, 
so I can have peeps whistle, that would be that'd be great. Now I did say that there was an easy one to obtain, but it was time consuming, and that's because it's the Violet Proto Drake. Now the Violet Proto Drake is actually an exception to the rule when it comes to all of these types of mounts obtained from achievements, because this takes a full year to complete, and basically it's just doing all of the final meta achievements, or the big achievements that grant the titles for all of the different world events, or I should say most of the world events, there's like one or two that are missing actually. But this will give you a 310 percent speed mount. Unlike where the others will change in Cataclysm, if we ever get Cataclysm, you know what I mean. But unlike where the others change and they have their master riding attachment removed from them, they're only 280% speed, this will always grant master riding. So everyone gets access to this and the 310% riding skill attached to it anyway. All it takes is a little bit of work over the course of the year and you're guaranteed it. Now of course the PvP mounts from the arena is still in, in Wrath of the Lich King for 310% speed mounts. For example in Season 8 you can get the Wrath gladiator worm in season seven you can get the relentless gladiator worm in season six you get the furious gladiators frost worm and as you can imagine in season five you'll get the deadly gladiators frost worm so you've still got the arena option to be able to get a 310 percent speed mount there are a couple of others continuing on with the achievement system yes icc when it comes out will also have a 10 man and a 25 man achievement mount that you can get if you complete glory of the ice crown raider 25 which is all of these achievements shown you'll be able to get the ice bound frost brood vanquish and if you do ICC 10 Glory of the Raider, you'll be able to get Reigns of the Bloodbathed Frost Brood Vanquisher. Trial of the Crusader didn't actually bring any flying mounts, they were ground mounts. But Anixia did. And the final one is the Anixian Drake, which is a very rare 310% speed mount, which drops from the re-release of Anixia. And that is all the 310% speed mounts in the game. And as you can see, there are some accessible ones that you'll be able to get, whether it's just doing the achievements for one of the raids, or two of the raids, or whatever. You only really need one 310% speed mount, you can only fly one at a time. And for you druids, just in case you wondered, yes, in 3.2, they actually changed the way flight form works. So if you get a 310% speed mount, you will go 310% speed in flight form. So even for druids, absolutely worth getting hold of a 310% speed mount as soon as physically possible. So that's it. Tell me what your favourite looking mount was in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. That pushed to 40k. We're nearly getting there. Consider joining the channel as a member. Check out my Twitch. Everything else. You, you know See ya, whatever, roll the outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes. Everyone will know you're a member when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name. And you get access to members only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you on the next one.